today I'm going to be doing a oracle reading using the Oracle of the Shapeshifters by Lucy Cavendish. And to begin for the Divine Feminine, we have Snow White and Alice, strange companions in stranger places. Challenges, use your imagination. So this card is saying that you have great power within you, the power of your creativity, your imagination and your dream self. You're going through great changes and it may seem like you have no power, but if you use your imagination, if you truly get creative about how to deal with people and places, who you can be and what you're capable of, you, you will shine. You have beautiful, strong allies who have accompanied you on this journey but will not leave your side. They may bring inspiration for drawing, for daydreaming, brilliant stories, for knowing how things should look, for being able to write the most ethereal music, for dancing as light as a feather. Whatever your gift, use it to head into and become more familiar with this new territory and explore this strange new place where you have chosen to begin a new life for yourself. No more hiding. The adventure is one that's taking place now and you're a part of it all. There'll be unfamiliar sights and surroundings and a great many strange feelings will come up for you as you wander. But there'll also be riches, mysteries and artistic moments and the chance to create the world for yourself. A world you have imagined into life. I dreamed you into life. You're not alone on this journey. Reach out your hands and feel the protective warmth of all other beings. All is well. How could it not be as you live this new life in this full and wonderful way, with your great creativity and your courage in full bloom? Following that, we have a second card for the Divine Masculine, Beauty and the Beast. You need some space in a relationship. You must free yourself from a controlling force. You've given away all your power and now you must take it back. In love, in friendship, in matters of the heart, people engage in dominance because of their upbringings and the stories in their heads. This thinking keeps them in fear. In this card, one person is influenced by another and is attempting to appease a kind of tyrant. Her love is true, but the rose has thorns. This card asks you to consider a healthier kind of love in which you remain true to yourself. Again, in, in alignment with this week's theme. Someone's leaning on you and their maturity and authority are overwhelming to your own wisdom, which could be more naive, fresh and innocent right now, then you may need to ask for more space. Symbols of attachment need to be released. There may be gifts that link you to others, chaining you to them. Overcome emotional tyranny by seeking your own connection to the divine and to love without the mediation of another person. Seek your own truth and your own power and rediscover your love for yourself. It's better to escape and know universal love than to thirst and starve for what, what no one else can truly give you. Awaken and free yourself from the control of a connection standing directly between you and the divine. Awaiting you is a bliss that flows freely, lovingly, and without this price of tears and pain. So something needs to let go of. Not your twin flame. But there could be um, people, places, habits, things that are actually not causing someone happiness. And moving on to the third card for the Union Energies. Quetzalcoatl and the Priestess of Time. The time has come. The time to act is now. And this card heralds a gift between the worlds of consciousness. It's a time of rapid transformation. We are in the most challenging and fantastic times ever on this planet. Those who refuse to step up and embrace and incorporate the new energies will find themselves deep in unhappiness and struggle over and over again. It's time. 
It's time to refuse to allow fear to corrupt your courage and do what needs to be done. Will you shift your consciousness? Will, will you change deliberately despite the fear and the others who tell you that you're wrong? Will you move away from and shift into a beingness which allows for a much greater reality? The time is now, but there is much you must do. An effort must be made to move away from navel-gazing and procrastination, and it will transform into a, a determination to, to become through doing, thinking, being, sharing, and insisting on the new reality's truths for you. It's time to embrace a new standard of excellence and to make that your creed. Don't wait another heartbeat. And a final card for the outcome. Fiona and the Unicorn, the gift of sacred sight. Your third eye is very active at this time. You're able to see things from a higher perspective. Your clairvoyant capacity is growing and opening. You're able to see what you once could not. Drink a great deal of water as you go through this process. Something happens when a person becomes more loving. Their spiritual sight opens as we reduce the intake of intoxicants, like caffeine, as we reduce the dramatic involvement in unhealthy relationships. Well, someone's detoxing from something. Uh, unhealthy relationships, family relationships that perpetuate old wounds. Our conscious awareness of the world about us changes. Spiritual sight is the ability to see the unseen. It's possible we may see things with the eyes. But let's not be limited by the word sight. When you say, I see, what you mean is that you're saying you understand. Spiritual sight is to notice energetic aspects, patterns, blocks to and free expressions of the divine. Basically, an expanded awareness of what's happening. Christ consciousness is taught as an opening to what is, but there's a deeper reality a truer energetic picture that exists and we become aware of it or see it as we, we refine spiritually. People are gonna, who are going to counsel souls at the deepest level must have spiritual sight. That's what people come to you for, to be guided by that understanding of the deeper truth that they can't see. Spiritual sight gives us a clearer picture of the energy of the situation. You'll grow in love, thereby reducing your involvement in activities which darken the soul. This is a purification process and it heightens the spiritual senses. In combination with taking in light and working with, with it consciously and receiving communion, as the awareness of energy and patterns grows, you'll notice the godly ways in which people express the deep truths about people will be revealed to you. For the sole purpose of helping them to be, become liberated. Once again, that ties into this revealing process that is happening in the collective and has been ongoing for some weeks now. So choose to see truth, choose to receive truth. And on that note, I'm gonna round off this video. I hope you enjoyed it and. Bye.